You recognise me? I don't believe we've met. I'm the archdeacon of this cathedral, and as such, your protector. Quasimodo, this, 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 this is a man. This I am Quasimodo's father. He is aware who I am. I should rip your eyes from their socket. I move quick. Catch her before she attacks. My father looks her. Then me. This? This is who you'd have me protect? He is the one. He killed my favours, Quasimodo. You must believe me. You are mistaking me for another oh, gypsy. Oh, I know who you are. I know what you are. I should throw you to the wall. I would gladly go if I could pull you down with me. You whore. <sighs> no. <sighs> no. <sighs> you must not. No. No. <sighs> Lock her away, Quasimodo. If she squeals, then break her and leave her to the rats. She is crying. <sighs> I, I... That is your father! How great! I owe him myself! My life! Then yours is a cheap life! That man is the devil's whore! No! He killed Phoebus and would have let me hang for it! No! Yes! He is and he did! Now will you please leave me be? George, Guillaume, you are policing this rabble, no? Yes, sir. And I think we both want the same thing. An end to this nonsense and a dead gypsy girl. Am I wrong? No, sir. So why don't you use your powers to get us inside and get that girl? Talk to your superiors, bring an end to this stupidity. We are just here to keep order, sir. We have no powers. But... I'm it... sorry, sir. We can't help you. <sighs> we will get her. Do you understand this? We will get her. Good day, gentlemen. What a charming man. When he touched my shoulder, I felt darkness pass through me. You don't think they won't storm the cathedral, will they? We have neither the manpower nor the... It's simple. If they do, we will let them. Archdeacon, I have a message from the Lord Bishop. I'd heard you'd made it through the crowd. I'm quite impressed. Was quite a crowd. What does the Lord Bishop want? He had prophesied, by you, I believe, the numbers on the square would decrease with time. We underestimated their fury. All for this girl. Yes, the gypsy, a sinful creature without a friend in the world. Spare for my bell ringer. The Bishop has sent word that he is concerned. As well he might be. This was a commissioned officer she was tried for. I am aware of that. I don't like your tone. A decorated captain. Well, a liar, a drunk and a gambler. He is a sad loss. The bishop wants this matter resolved. The Lord Bishop asks whether you will find an answer, Archdeacon. What answer shall I give him? I was a great man. Oh, you. I was happy, pure. My soul was filled with light. Priests consulted me on chastity, doctors on... Cosimodo! Cosimodo, are you there? Ah. Listen, woman, do not interrupt me. I will oh, be obeyed Do not hit me. Church. I will not be hit by you. Ah. No! No! There! A belt in your mouth! You are quiet! You must listen! I was a scientist. But still, a man. More than once, my flesh was thrilled as a form passed by, but fasting, prayer, study, the macerations of the cloister again made the spirit ruler of the body. I shunned women by force of will. And then, one day, 
I was leaning on the window of my cell, I heard the sound of a tambourine. I glanced to the square. What I saw there... A creature was dancing, a creature so beautiful that God would have preferred her to the Virgin. Her eyes black and lustrous, hair raven, her face, her body. I was no longer my own master. Misery! What misery? How to stop that descent into hell? I, I, I learned all I could of you. I, I studied you in a, a gypsy. How could I doubt the witchcraft? <laughs> oh, girl, have pity on me. You think you're unhappy? You've no idea what misery is! To love a woman? To love her with your soul and to know that with that love comes damnation. The torture, the torture is now. I cannot. I must have you. Do you understand that? I must have you. No, shush, shush, shush. I am going to strip you now. And then this sickness. Will... No! No! Quasimodo! No! Have she been... is good. She has bewitched me. I, I, I need this for a cure. She's made me weak. I don't... I can't... I must. If you must, then kill me first. What? I cannot see you hurt her. Love... Uh, this is... You're... You're absurd. How dare you threaten me with your own life? I am ready to die. You do He turns, looks her... Her mouth, eyes wet with sweat, tears. Madam, you will... See me again. He looks back at me. Red. Angry. He leaves room. I left on cathedral steps. Church took children not wanted. Found homes. When father found me, was crowd over me, poking, laughing. No one would have me. I would have no home. So father took me, took books, me numbers, gave me bells. They would have put me in bag and dropped into sail. He gave life to me. And that's... I will not hurt him for you. Just keep him away. She looks at me a moment. Tears on her face. And then nods. Gently... Do not bite me, as I remove the skag. We will not stay here, in case demon returns to him. Do not ask me to leave you alone again. I will not do that. You love me? Yes. Then I will follow you wherever you want to go.